Types of outdoor lighting. Outdoor lighting can be divided into four categories. Security lighting, this lighting is used for lighting up the vulnerable areas of your property. It is advisable though to keep it away from the living areas so it's not distracting, as the lights used are bright, and often motion activated. You can also have a manual on-off switch for your lighting so that you can override automatic illumination. Task lighting, this type of lighting is for specific purposes such as outdoor grilling or walking safely up and down steps and along paths. Task lighting should be kept between your eyes and the object that needs to be lighted. See to it that it does not glare, as an overly bright light will blind rather than guide. Accent lighting, this can create a dramatic effect, or highlight an unusual feature. For example, uplighting can illuminate an interesting piece of statuary. Silhouetting can be achieved by keeping the light between the object and or fence or wall. General or ambient lighting can display overall lighting so that people feel comfortable and look good. Moonlighting or starlight, you can also imitate moonlight or starlight for creating magical lighting. Moonlighting can be produced by putting outdoor lights in trees. The lights should be pointing downward to create a dappled effect, as if the area were lit by a full moon. And what could be more beautiful than nature's own gift to us, stars in the night. This can be imitated by suspending tiny lights in the branches of a tree to create a sparkling nighttime canopy, or by using flickering candles, sprinkled here and there throughout the space. Tips to remember. No matter what type of lighting you want, remember not to overdo it, as less is more when it comes to lighting. Don't use lights where they're not necessary, and you can also be subtle by using a low watt bulb. Also be careful not to send light upward. Never use lights in straight lines up and down paths like the airport runway effect which is a very common error. Avoid using yellow lights as they are unfattering to both people and plants. Instead use blue-white bulbs or purchase daylight blue filters for your fixtures. The lights should be kept where they are easily accessible for changing light bulbs. After setting up your outdoor lighting, get outside after dark and light up the night. If you play wall cricket or squash or other games like Ludo, chess or carom board in your garden or driveway at night, then accordingly you can have some light arrangements at required location. This can be lamps hanging from a tree or a short pole for the indoor games you'd like to play in your garden. For outdoor games you can have bright focus gate lifts, lifts from building wall or on short poles. In every way it will look cool and enhance the active looks of your garden when you play for some time there. For more ideas stay tuned in. Like and subscribe.